time to spill the tea with Spicy V. Welcome to Spill the Tea with Spicy V. Today I am here with King Jam, baby. Yes. Woo! Yes, sir. We here, Good baby. Stop more. playing. I love it. From BB Can A, X on the Beach 5. You feel me? <laughs> I feel you. <laughs> yes. I want to give you the chance to to tell me what the real reason was that you left BB Can A. Like what happened? Well, I didn't really leave. I got, you know, kicked out. So I left because they didn't really give me a, a direct answer in the DR. But from the post that they posted, apparently I broke some rules on and off the camera on live feeds. So that's what it was. But it was due to apparently I made a couple of threats. So, you know, some guys were scared of me and they cried to produce it like some babies and they got my ass out of there. So, yeah, that's um, what happened. That's the worst. Okay. And you said that like Michael, like after the show, you really realized who had your back. And Michael is one of those guys. And still to yeah. this day, you ride for Michael. I think yesterday you literally posted saying he's the coolest guy you know. Yeah. So so tell me about that. So when you came out of the house, like what made you realize he really had your back? Well, um, they didn't really show it, but like me and him were pretty close in the house too. So it's just like like when he when he when I came out and I seen that he was supporting me, I wasn't really shocked. And you know, I just was like, yo, like, thank you so much for having my back. It took a lot of courage to stand up against production and just say, yo, like you guys are wrong. And you know, he just had my back the most coming off the show and showed a lot of support publicly. So I like I like that. You know, that's my guy. Yeah, I like that too. Shout out to yeah. Michael. Shout out Michael. Okay. So let's say you were to have stayed in the house longer. What yeah like comp do you think you would have excelled at like a physical memory like what would have been your comp <laughs> uh honestly my memory's trash so <laughs> puzzles so and memory, yeah, memories and puzzles i would do bad at but Same. endurance like something like we're hanging where you're hanging on something i think i could do good at that like i'm not a heavy guy i'm pretty slim you know what i'm saying all those muscular guys, they're not going to beat me in that. You know what I'm saying? I could, I can hang on the longest. So endurance is my thing. And anything with, anything with speed and time, I could do okay. it. Would you do an all-stars if they asked? Like, would you walk through those BB can doors again if the opportunity presented itself? Hey, man. I don't think, I, I, <laughs> I don't think they would even call me, but I would, I would do it again. Yeah. All I right. Would do it. The all people, right. people want to see it. My they family do. wants to see it, so and I want I want to be in there with you. We got to make a good season. Oh my! <laughs> could you imagine, yo? Describe to me your perfect rhythm right now. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my perfect woman, eh? I would say a woman that, uh, you know, I'm more of an energy type of guy. You know, what I'm saying like the physical features, like you know, she 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 got to have a pretty face, a nice smile, and like you know, she just. That's basically it for me. But other than that, she got to be ambitious. She got to be caring. She got to be loving. And just a girl that's going to take care of me when I'm down and be there for me through the ups and downs. You feel me? And that's my perfect woman right there. Make me feel good. Make me feel comfortable and laugh on my corny jokes, you know? Yes, for sure. Okay. <laughs> I'm envisioning that perfect woman for you. So I, I got to ask, what's good with you and men? Y'all still being toxic as fuck or what? <laughs> <laughs> You <laughs> <laughs> not the tea. I ain't sipping, I ain't sipping nothing. Like, we spill it, we spill it. Um no, we're friends, we're just friends, honestly. That's it. Like people see us like on TV and see us on social media, like we're homies, like that's just what it is. We're not romantically connected. We don't like we're not we're never gonna date, like you know what I'm saying? So that's just what it is. We're just friends and we get on each other's nerves and we love to banter, so what are your thoughts on Aika's engagement? Like, holy shit. Isn't that fucking exciting? Hey, man. I'm so happy for her and Dimitri. Like, I've seen their relationship. I've been in, uh, part of their friendship for, like, two years. So it's, like, seeing them grow and just get to that next level. It's, like, I was so happy when I seen it. And I'm just, like, I can't wait for the wedding, honestly. I'm pulling up with a baddie and we turning <laughs> up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> pulling up with a baddie. All right. You said yeah, it. Yeah. We'll see. Straight. We'll see if I'm available. Nugget. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll turn that up too, eh? <laughs> I ride for Aika. She's so lit. She's such like for real. She, she, she is. lifts people up. Like she is just a real one. And yeah, I haven't met. That's why. That's yet. why she's big sis. You know. That's why. She's yes. Big sis. Yeah. 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 I have been dying to ask you this fucking question. 
when, where, how, explain to us the, you feel me? Like, like <laughs> where did that come from? Because like, that's a staple. That is a Jamar staple. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, honestly, I didn't realize, like, it's not like I came in Big Brother saying, like, I was going to make that a staple. Like, I guess I just say it so much that they picked up on it and they just made it into a thing. Like, the production made it into a thing. I never realized it, you know, until I came off the show or in the house. The house guests were always like, why do you always say you feel me? And I was just like, bro, that's just how I talk. I'm from Toronto, bro. Like, yes. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you so are. So that's just, that's just how it came about. I never purposely went in the house saying I was going to do that. It just came about. And, like, when I look at old videos before, I was saying it too, like old Snapchat memories. I was saying it too, and I didn't even realize. So, hey, that's just how I talk. I love it. Wow. Authentic. Like, just you're just authentically, like, setting trends. Like, exactly. that must be a good feeling. I can't even say that without being like, okay, I'm I'm being Jamar. Or, like, even yeah. you would all be like, oh, these muscles for what? Like, you know, like, yeah. you, just, you know, you, you have that, like, you know, people just want to copy your ass. I got, I got too many bars, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got too bars, many that's... bars. I'm a trendsetter. Yeah. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I feel you. Um, I remember, I think you were having a conversation with Caro about that. Like, she was, like, you're like, yo, I got bars. Like, she was asking you, like, if you were the bad guy in the relationship. Do you remember that conversation? Yeah. That's what that just made me think of. Yeah, I got bars for days, man. Stop playing. Oh, my gosh. Do you ever, do you talk to her at all? Because I know, you know, you thought she was a little sweet too. Yeah. She was definitely the baddest girl on the show. Yeah. Um, we talk here and there, like, through, like, Instagram stories, but. I only known I was only in the house with her for like four or five days. So like, you know, we weren't like we didn't build no super friendship and like cause she got kicked out. So, you know, there's only five days, but we follow each other, comment on each other's yeah. stories every now and then. How are you? And that's yeah. about it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, what's going on with Davon? What is going on? I mean, nothing. I don't I don't talk to her. You know, we don't talk, we don't like each other, as simple as that. And I spoke my truth. On Twitter, on Instagram, she yeah. said her truth. You know, she tried to bury me. You know, you can't bury this guy. I'm always gonna be shining regard. I'm always gonna be shining regardless, baby. Come on now. And you know, it's just, it just, it was just childish. It was just immature. And you know, that's that's about it. You know, we don't talk. I'm off the show now. I'm moving on with my life. And that that doing X on the beach, it was fun while it lasted. But you know, I wouldn't do it again with, especially with her. <laughs> yeah. You know, especially with her. Now that's some tea. <laughs> Either marry Davon, Minley, Maddie, <laughs> or never be with a woman for the rest of your life. Oh, Who are you geez. picking? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> and you said you weren't going to sip that tea. Let's go. <laughs> so it's funny how you're like, it's fun. Like, you know, it was fun while it lasted, blah, blah, blah. Was it really that fun when Davon was walking into the Shaka Secrets for that fucking scene? Yo, my heart, my heart was actually dying. pounding. My heart was actually pounding because I'm just like, like I don't like I was like, yo, what's gonna happen? Like, but I knew Min Lee was coming. Like I just I knew it. Like all the clues are adding up, and I'm just like, yeah, Min Lee's coming. And then the video just shut off, and like I'm like, what are you talking about down there? Oh and then my god! They come upstairs screaming my name. I'm like, oh damn. Oh Not man, that. I'm in trouble. <laughs> it's fucking Min Lee, like I gotta give it to her. She's fucking good TV, man. Like I couldn't stop yeah. watching her. She's so funny. Yeah, so that's good. one thing about her. She's definitely good TV. Very good TV. Yeah. No one can say that about that. She's not. <laughs> But same thing with you. You're good TV. Like, I can literally think of memes about you all day. Like, the one they took from X on the Beach, where you're like, where are you going? And she's like, away yeah, from yeah. you. And you're like, why, why? <laughs> or like, <laughs> even Big Brother, you're like, little yeah. kid. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got too much. I got too yeah, much, so, you know? Okay, so, talking about the celebrity net fights, who do you think would win? Like, doesn't even matter. Who, like, just yeah. who do you think would win? Maddie or Min? Jeez. <laughs> I don't know, man. That's a hard one. Right. Honestly, I was debate. I was me. Me and my boys are actually debating that because Maddie has the experience, but Min Lee is like kind of like bigger, and I be, I feel like strong strength wise, she's stronger than Maddie. So 
I don't know. It's like, it's kind of hard. <laughs> yeah, I know. And that's, and that's tough. I don't even have an answer for that and one. And they both don't like each other. And <laughs> it's know. like, they both have the anger towards one another. And it's like, who's going to... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I might sip this one. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. All right, you have to sip that tea. So you're like a honey guy. That's like your go-to drink, right? Oh, yeah. When I go to any party, so if it's BYOB, bring your own bottle. I buy the Hennessy, you know what I'm saying? Y O H. Yeah. Yeah. How, how old were you? Would you like if you had to guess when you had your first sip of honey? Like when when first did that touch the lips? Flip. I'm 25 now, so that's probably like maybe like 17, 18. Yeah. In okay, high school, okay. like that senior year high school type. Okay. Like area. So taking it back. Yeah, way back. You know what I'm saying? Henny has always been in my life. You know, it's the oh, best. Yeah. <laughs> we go way back. <laughs> All right, yeah. all right. Can you can you spell Hennessy backwards? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh whew. Hennessy, Hennessy. Y E C Y E S S. Oh fuck, I fucked up already. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Y E <laughs> No, Y E S S E N N E H. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, that's yeah, right. that was it. Yeah, Yay. yeah. Damar, that is the end of all my questions. It's quick. It's fun. They're hot. Yeah. But you know what? What time it is? You know what comes next? Mm -hmm. I always give my guest a chance to ask me one spicy question if they have one. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, <laughs> what does spicy have in store? Like, what? What's the next show? Like, I, I heard something rumors that you're on the circle or something or or all-star big brother i don't know what, what's in store with you, you know I'm saying? wow that hey that's a good ass question because i've actually been wanting to clear up this amazing rumor yeah it ain't true i am not on the circle i wish that i was because mm -hmm. that would be lit but i guess people just hear things are about to get spicy and they, they think of me they yeah, see that see? chili pepper they think of me so it makes me that's feel your like staple. I made that. Yes, that's you know? your staple. Yes, you know. You don't think spicy V. Stop playing. Yeah, they hear spicy and they think of you. Come, come on now. Yo, let's go. You feel me? <laughs> I feel you. I feel spicy V. Okay, King Jam. Thank you so much for coming on Spill the Tea with Spicy V. I love you. Click that subscribe button for more spice.